Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How you guys and girls doing? Hope you're doing great as always. Um, finally, we have another episode in this tutorial series. And uh, if you remember the last series, we talked about classes and, and kind of... Um, what, what, what did we talk about? We, we talked about classes and classes. And today I want to just quickly go through pointers and arrays of, uh, of user objects, right? And, and your own class types and stuff like that. So, But before we get started, please check out the description box as always. You got a bunch of useful links down there to all kinds of different playlists. Uh, my Twitter, follow me on there. You can join me on Discord. You got the link. And also um, my support page, you can check that out. And drop a like, subscribe if you like this stuff. But uh, let's just get going here. So basically what I want to do is I want to create a class any type of class class let's call it well we have a class dice a class car we have a class called class person probably I think should work um, like this oh I almost sneezed Whew, sorry about that <laughs> okay private and then public as always oh what is the Swedish spelling public um, there we go all right, then we're gonna have a person constructor and a person destructor. All right, whoops, boom. Okay, we're good. Uh, and a person constructor like that. Okay, cool. And then we have our functions here. We won't have a lot of stuff in here. It's just re it's just a regular person basically and this tutorial is going to come in handy for uh, the future videos we're going to make about inheritance and how to kind of make a base class person and then add different classes that are children of this class and then you can just have a person array and add all kinds of different uh, people objects to this array uh, even though that person in turn might be a teacher a, a student or whatever classes you make whatever child classes you make Okay, so that's the idea. That's why this is important. Uh, let me just go ahead and see if I'm recording. Okay, all right, that's cool. Uh, yeah, so that's how it is. So what does a person have? I'm just going to go ahead and include a string here. And that should be it. So I'm going to do a std string name. Uh, maybe int age, as always, just the usual stuff. H, um, bum, bum, bum. Well, you know what? Whatever. That'll be fine for now. It doesn't matter. We don't want too many um, of these yet. String name int age. This name equals name. This age equals age. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. And then I'm gonna do some accessors like that or might just do a little trick here might just do a little uh, include s stream I might make a two string function so what this does is std I'll just do a const std string to string and it'll just give me a string to print out okay basically that's it so const and that's all it's gonna do so I'm gonna make a std string stream object and I'm gonna return ss.string so string streams are awesome I know we've worked with them before I think um, <coughs> excuse me uh, and they basically just are like C out basically but you instead of going out to the screen or to the command line you're actually put it, pushing stuff out to a string and that's when that string is fi finished you can access it by ss.str so you can just kinda uh, add a bunch of integers and different types to the string and then print it out so it makes life a little easier so that's why string stream is good there's a bunch of string stream options you can see here uh, you can read more about it um, I don't know if we're gonna make a tutorial on just string stream but but yeah well you can add a string as well to a string stream a pre-existing string and then change it add stuff to it using it and then you can get it again so that's kinda how that works uh, anyway let's do string stream uh, name and then this name and then a space 
maybe one of these cool things um, and then age and then this age you can format it any way you want I'll even add a new line in my string itself so every time I print this string out um, the string that I'm returning it will actually print it with all of this together including the new line so that's cool that's a little mini tutorial on string stream I know we talked about it before but still it's good to know um, so that's cool here's the person destructor we don't need to do anything with that um, age name so I'm pretty much my person is pretty much complete all right um, so there you go so I can create a person um, me like this okay I can do that I can I can add a name here uh, and an age right just as usual okay so imagine me having uh, a person object for myself with my name and my age in it that's cool and then I'll have a person uh, maybe friend okay that's probably not how you want to name them but I'll just add a friend here uh, maybe Daniel or something I don't know I don't have any friends so I'm just gonna make up a little friend here uh, so that's my friend from now on oh I can have a lot of friends that's cool but anyway I got my friend and we're all fighting for a seat okay so this is a person seat now I hope you watch the pointer tutorials if I put at least the pointer introductions where you can actually create a pointer without giving it a null pointer value or anything but then that pointer will be kind of dangerous to delete or kind of do stuff like that with so um, you you probably if you know a pointer is going to be starting off empty you want to put it to null pointer just make sure you remember that uh, it's, it's just like the rule where you just give every uh, object and of any type a starting value initialize everything you can because it's really important uh, usually if you forget it you get some weird errors you might using some you might be using some uh, rubbish data but anyway so we got our person uh, thing here so I'm gonna make a if statement and I'm also gonna include include C time here because I'm gonna do I'm gonna initialize sran time null okay I'm just gonna initialize sran because I'm gonna do uh, if rand uh, from 0 to 1 is greater than 0 seat is gonna be the address of me okay else so it's a 50 for 50 50 percent chance I get the um, there you go whoops I'll just call it fr okay fine fr that's my friend so otherwise the seats gonna go to my friend and now I'll do a std c out fr to let's see fr to string like this all right now I want to just dereference that because no not fr sorry seat seat to string not dereference it okay so whoever is sitting in the seat is going to be printed out all right and we already had a new line in there so I'm not going to do anything here I'm just going to do a system pause so hopefully you can see that a pointer to a person object is created using the class name pointer symbol and the name of the variable pointer variable and then you just assign it to these just as you do with an integer right so that's no big deal so if I run this program hopefully we're not gonna get any crashes here uh, hopefully it's gonna build properly looks so looks that way okay so Daniel was the one who won he's sitting in the seat if I run this again Daniel again god damn that Daniel dude maybe this doesn't work wait maybe two should be it there we go I think that's it it will go from zero to one okay so that was me run it again me run it again me run it again please can I see some change Daniel okay cool so it was working it's just I was really really lucky so that's cool there you go now we got that going okay 
so that actually worked now if I create a person object new person and I say new person dude who's like 50 years old okay that's how you create a dynamic person object so dynamic objects of classes are created this way into a pointer now I can do std c out new person to string here okay and I can also delete new person you probably want to do that because uh, you don't want um, memory leaks basically right so I'm just gonna divide this up because this is the next part of the tutorial basically and that is done so that's how you create a new object of a person now if I run this hopefully I'll get some type of a yeah dude age 50 see now I could point this to this but that's a, a pointer tutorial I'm, we're not doing a pointer tutorial anyway that's how you create a new thing right here what about an array of people right of course you can have a person um, p array of like five people here and then you can add a person p1 maybe age 20 and then you add another person here you could do it by hand right you could kind of do that if you wanted to otherwise it will it will give it some it won't work because there is no default constructor for person if we had a default constructor um, like this empty just give it some default values then this will be a default minus one is a default value right and then that will work because this is a default value now if I print all of these out uh, I will get a, uh, a bunch of these right all of these and then I can set them if I want to and so on and so on but that's how you create a regular array what about the dynamic array so p array pointer new person array of maybe five objects okay so now we have a new person array of five of objects now I can do the same thing I can delete this of course you have to delete it p array like that, we gotta have a big A here. So just make sure you delete everything. Every time you use new, you use delete. And also, if you're making an array like this in a pointer um, with dynamic, a dynamic array like this, uh, you want to use these two symbols here: delete two symbols, p array. All right, make sure that uh, that's done. Otherwise, it won't delete it properly. It won't delete it as an array. Uh, so there you go. Um, yeah. So that's basically basically how you can do it. For dynamic arrays of people uh, it's really good to know and we can fill this out with stuff if we wanted to and all that um, we could even do a pointer pointer dynamic array where everything in these are pointers right we'll, we'll get to these kind of things in a bit but then you would do a pointer here maybe five and then make a for loop five because the size five now the difference here is every person object is actually a pointer in this array alright so we don't have an array of five people person objects we have an array of five person pointers okay and the magic there is we can add new persons to this um, this array easily so this p array at position i equals a new person uh, some dude with the age i okay so we'll, we'll see this get added to it um, let's see. P array. Um, boom, 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 boom. Why is this not working? A non. This mail. Oh no, it's not this. Oh, sorry about that. Why am I using this? Okay, never mind. So we'll add all these. And to delete a pointer pointer array, you need to make another for loop, which goes through the size. All right. And it delete p array at position i. That's it. And then you delete the whole array, because basically, let me just show you this before because our time is kind of ending. But if we have an array like we did before, the regular array, it looks like this. All right. And you have people in here. You got a bunch of people objects all in here, right? It's just full. Even if only this person has some valid data, everything's full. The difference now is because you have you have actually a pointer pointing to this whole array right um, that's basically how it works so this is your p array pointer it's 
you create a new array of five people in it you know and it's pointing to the first object like this all right the difference now with a pointer pointer if this is a pointer pointer we create a new array of pointers and they all are pointing to nothing they're just pointers they don't they're not actual objects and then what I do is I create new people objects why is this not working there we go new people object somewhere else in memory where these pointers are pointing to so that's the difference and you kind of save some memory there and stuff because uh, every pointer doesn't have an object to it otherwise there would be just objects filling up the, all the spaces so that's basically how that works that means that we first have to delete all of these objects that these pointers are pointing to then we delete the whole array that this pointer is pointing to that's exactly what's happening here we delete each one of the small objects and then we delete the whole array so now that might be a little confusing to you just go ahead and check out some more of the example videos I made on dynamic arrays I explain it a little better uh, I will do that here as well in this tutorial series but this is just a quick example of how you can make all these different things happen right so before I delete everything I just want to make sure I make another for loop here going through five and then I want to do p array std c out p array uh, uh, p array i two string okay so just want to print all those dudes out and I'll probably have some dude 12340 see so I made a bunch of objects in this array and yeah that way you can play around with all of these beautiful things um, and have fun and just use this as much as you need because this is a really important thing to know because you're gonna be creating a lot of your own object types a lot of your own classes and you wanna know how to create pointers to them pointer pointers to them um, assign them to different values and everything uh, it's really important to know so just train and practice on this and I, I promise you everything will be fine uh, thanks for sticking with me during this tutorial I hope it helped I hope you learned something um, and I'll try to keep making these tutorials I've been focusing a lot on the RPG series that I'm making for C++ so those of you those of you who haven't checked that out go ahead and do that if you want to uh, see how you can use all these all this knowledge and making a little game just simple game uh, otherwise just check out the description box you got a bunch of useful links down there and you can just uh, check out other tutorials whatever and uh, follow me on Twitter if you can my support page also uh, check out the discord you can join me there if you want to talk to me there you have any questions go ahead and do that otherwise drop a like subscribe if you want to other than that thanks again take care and I'll see you guys and girls in the next one alright bye bye